this is the exact same problem that I did in the last video. But I realized after looking at the problem that I just mindlessly did the problem. But there's actually a much simpler way of doing it. So once again, they're telling us to subtract and state the difference in simplest form. And what I did in the last video is I just said, OK, let's find a common denominator. And then I found it, and then I did the subtraction. But what I could have done, and that would have simplified all of the math, is I could have simplified each of these expressions first. So let's do that. So this first expression right over here, both the numerator and the denominator, is divisible by m. So let's divide them both by m. If you divide the numerator by m, you get 1. You divide the denominator by m, m squared divided by m is just m. The second term right over here, both of them, both the numerator and the denominator, are divisible by n to the third power. So let's divide the numerator by n to the third power. You get a 1. You divide the denominator, you divide n to the fourth by n to the third power. You just get an n. And so we can rewrite this as 6 over, 6 times 1, so that's just 6, 6 over 7mn minus 5, because that's just 5 times 1, over 3mn. And this really simplifies the problem. So what's Let's think about a common denominator over here. So it's going to be something minus something. So a common denominator has to be divisible by both 7 and 3. So the least common multiple of 7 and 3 is 21. And it has to be divisible by m and has to be divisible by n. 21 mn. And that also takes care of this. 21 mn is clearly divisible by 7 mn. And it's clearly divisible by 3 mn. It's got the mn there. It's divisible by 3. It's divisible by 7. So that's our least common multiple, or you could say it's our common denominator. And to get from 7mn to 21mn, you got to multiply by 3. And if you're multiplying the denominator by 3, you got to multiply the numerator by 3. And you get 3 times 6 is equal to 18. And to go from 3mn to 21mn, you got to multiply by 7. I'll do it over here. you got to multiply it by 7. And if you multiply the denominator by 7, you got to multiply the numerator by 7 if you don't want to change the value of the expression. So 5 times 7 is, is equal to 35. And then so this is going to be equal to 18 minus 35. Since we have this, let me write it down. We have a common denominator here of 21mn. And we're going to have to calculate 18 minus 35 in the numerator. I'll just write it over here. 18 minus 35 in the numerator. And 18 minus 35 is negative 17. So we get negative 17 in the numerator over 21mn. And we are done. And I think that was a good bit simpler than the way we did it in the last